Hey guys, at my local Harley dealership here, just checking out some bikes. That's a pretty bike right here. Damn. 2009 FXD FSR. Oh, I'm just looking. I was thinking about getting a second bike. I got a CBR 600 double R now. Gotcha. Yeah, I was thinking about. Do you have the new um, the breakout? I do, but I don't have any here right now. Every, okay. Every time we get one, in, it sells. Wow, it's good bikes, huh? Yeah. How much is the camera? What's that? What's with the camera, man? Oh, uh, YouTube. Oh, yeah. That's good. Is you all right if I put you on my channel? Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't care. All right, man. Yeah. No, I mean, they're, they're a great looking bike to get the bigger back tire on them. Uh -huh. A little bit longer rake for it. I got a couple coming in that should be in here very shortly. All right. Um, within about a week, I can give you a call when they come. All right. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I have one here, um, there's supposed to be a couple that we're getting in that are uh, supposed to be shipped here. Okay. They should be here. I'm thinking let the latest by the end of the month. Okay. The latest. All right. So thinking about trading in the CBR? No, I'm getting the second bike. Okay. Yeah. Hey, have the best of both worlds, you know. Right. A little, <laughs> little bit of fun. This would be nice for uh, you know, some on these long country roads, you know. Exactly. Yeah, kind of gets skipping a jump. You're down to the country. Yeah. Yeah. How much is something like this run here? Oh, this one here. This is a fun bike, actually. This is a this is a CVO. This would be a Fat Bob. It's going to have the bigger tire. Uh -huh. It's going to have a different wheel. It's going to have the twin headlights in the front, kind of that European look. Uh -huh. But it's going to have the full stage, Screaming Eagle Stage 1 kit. So what they did is they actually put the Samson pipes on it with the heavy-duty intake. It's got a 110-cubic-inch motor, uh -huh. and they dyno-tuned it, so it's going to be bumped up a little bit. Uh -huh. you know, you've, got the, you've got the bigger, you know, bigger scrummed-out front fork. The nice thing with being it's called, what's called a CVO. The, the vehicle operations, the uh, custom vehicle operations for Harley. All right. The frame is going to be powder coated to match the color, the main color of the bike. There's going to be a lot more chrome throughout the whole thing. We pointed a little bit nicer, a little bit different seat and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. This one here, I have to look up because I can never remember this one for some reason. Twenty thousand nine ninety nine. All right. 6,400 miles on it. Now it's going to have quite a bit more chrome on it than a standard uh, Fat Boy, or I'm sorry, Fat Bob. And just a much different sound to it. Uh, that sounds nice. Sounds good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Love that sound, man. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's. Uh, yeah. You know the nice thing is it is built on the Dyna platform. Uh huh. A couple of things that are nice. Your shocks here, they're exposed, and they actually have adjustment. You can actually tweak the suspension a little bit if you do ride, you know, one person, two people, however you operate. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got that option for you. And then it does, like I said, it does have the bigger motor. It's also going to be paired with a six-speed transmission as well because it is a CVO option. Okay. You know, there was a couple of add-ons to this. The backrest has been added on. It is a quick detach, so you can strip that backrest right off and you know, not have any, mm -hmm. uh, make it a, clean, a little bit cleaner look to the overall bike. And then everything has been, you know, your tail light and everything is in your, in your uh, underneath your uh, rear bumper here, or, I'm sorry, rear fender, then your side marker, your side turn signals as well are LEDs. All right, that's cool. Uh, I think I was gonna get a brand new one. They they seem to hold their value so well, you know. They yeah, they're expensive, but it's worth it because they hold their value and you know they're good quality bikes. So yes sir. Yeah. Yes sir. All right. Yeah. Give me a call when the breakout comes in. I'll be able to tell in about four or five days. Uh -huh. Once the new week starts, I'll be able to tell a rough idea about a three-day window of when they're going to be here. Okay. I'll let you know, and then as soon as I know they're going to be here, as soon as I see one on deck, I'll call you and let you know that. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Have a good one.